Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notifications. Assalamu alaikum students. We are going to discuss the next part of the chapter light and the first part was reflection of light and the second part is refraction of light. In the very first part, we discussed about the reflection of light that is life's light striking a surface and bouncing back. But now the topic is slightly different that is refraction. One of the basic property of light is light travels in straight lines. The path of light is a straight lines. Light travels in straight lines and that property is called as rectilinear propagation of light. rectilinear propagation of light so light travels in straight lines so if we talk about a particular medium for example light is coming from a bulb and it's coming to this point up to this point it's traveling it's propagating across a one medium only that is air or we can take the example of water if we see the light inside the water light is traveling in water fine the medium here is water the light would travel in a straight path. So in a particular medium, light would have a straight path in one medium only. But if the light changes its medium, if the ray of light changes its medium, for example, the ray of light is coming from the bulb or sun simply, and now it's entering the surface of water. It's entering the surface of water. Here, the light is traveling through the medium air. Now here at this point, at this point, the light is changing its medium. Now the medium is water. Light is entering into the water. So first light traveled through air in straight path. Now the light is traveling in water in straight path. But at this point, at this point, the light changed its medium the medium for the propagation of light gets changed here it was air now it's water so the medium got changed once the light changes its medium once the medium for light gets changed or once the light travels from one medium to the other medium it changes its path upon entering the other medium once light travels from one medium to another upon entering upon entering that is when the light came from air and entered into the water the moment light entered the water it would change its path it would slightly change its path so the path would be like this here it appears that this ray of light was supposed to follow this path a straight path now this ray of light has slightly, it, it appears that this uh, ray of light has bent. That is, it has traversed this path now, this path. It should have gone through this path, through a straight line, but it has slightly bent. It has changed its path. It has changed the direction of propagation. So once light travels in a particular medium, in one medium only, that is air. For example, this ray of light is traveling through air. It would have one it would have straight path but once light changes its medium upon entering the other medium once the light enters the other medium it would change its path and that change in path of light that change in path of light change in path of light which path straight path the straight path it was following when it was in a particular medium so the change in path of light upon entering the other medium upon entering the other medium is called as a refraction of light this phenomena is known as refraction of light so simply we can say refraction of light is defined as that phenomena of light where the ray of light changes its path when it travels from one medium to the other medium. So simply when a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium, for example, if we see the light coming from the sun, it comes through the air first. 
if we are sitting in the room then it has to cross the window panes it has to cross the glass fine it has to cross the glass of window at that moment light is changing its path light is changing its path upon entering the glass fine so once the medium for light gets changed once the medium for the propagation of light gets changed the direction of propagation of light also gets changed so once the light enters the other medium the moment light enters the other medium it would change its path and that change in path of light that change in path of light is called as refraction of light so simply refraction of light is the phenomena of change in path of light when it travels from one medium to the other medium so light is coming from the sun coming through the air fine then it enters into the glass then enters our room fine so the uh, medium for light continuously gets changed or the light is coming from the sun and is entering into the water surface fine so once the light enters the water surface the moment it enters the water surface it would change its path and that change in path would appear us that the light has bent it has bent it's actually the path so that would appear to us that the ray of light has slightly bent it has changed its direction that bending of light that change in path of light while entering the other medium is known as refraction of light so refraction of light is simply defined as when the ray of light travels from one medium to the another medium it changes its path upon traveling the other medium fine okay so this is the refraction of light now once the light travels in a particular medium like here the light is traveling in air in the medium air fine it has its own speed in different media light has different speeds for example in a vacuum or air light has a speed of in air or vacuum light has a speed of 3 into 10 raise power 8 meter per second light has a speed of 3 into 10 raise power 8 meter per second or we can say 3 lakh kilometer per second fine but in glass light has a speed of 2 into 10 raise power 8 meter per second once the light uh, travels in air once the light travels in air it has only one speed that is 3 into 10 raise power 8 meter per second but once it enters the glass in glass inside the glass the speed of light is 2 into 10 raise power 8 meter per second so as long as the light remains in air it would have constant speed as long as it would remain in glass it would have constant speed as long as it would remain in water it would have constant speed fine so in a particular medium light has a particular speed but upon changing the medium the speed of light also gets changed the speed of light also gets changed that uh, that change in speed of light while entering the other medium is the cause of refraction of light so the cause of refraction of light is when the ray of light is traveling through a particular medium for example air it has a speed of 3 into 10 raise power 8 meter per second but once it enters the medium once it enters the glass the speed of light gets changed the speed of light gets slowed down the speed of light gets slowed down and due to that change in speed of light its path gets slightly deviated and that deviation in the path of light is known as refraction of light so refraction of light is because of the change in path of light from one change in the speed of light from one medium to the another so the basic cause of refraction is the light has its uh, has a constant speed in a particular medium but once it changes the medium the speed of light also changes so in a particular in one particular medium the speed of light is constant but in other the speed of light is different but while entering the other medium the speed of light gets changed so the path of light gets changed that's known as a refraction of light so the cause for the refraction of light is change in speed of light while entering the other medium fine okay now if we say the ray of light is getting bent now we should know the direction of bending direction of bending i am saying the ray of light changes its path but we should uh, the question uh, might ar arise in our mind 
that which path does the light follow then? Which path is light following? Where from it gets deviated? For example, this is a ray of light, it's entering other medium. I can say this is also the change in path of light, this is refraction or this is also refraction, this is also refraction. Now which path would light follow upon entering the other medium? It depends upon, it depends upon the medium. It depends upon the medium. There are two types of media. There are two types of media. One is known as optically denser medium and the other is known as optically rarer medium. Optically denser medium, it is that medium where the speed of light is less where the speed of light is less in comparison to other in comparison to other optically denser medium is that medium where the light has a slow speed where the light has a slow speed but in comparison to other medium so there we must have two media in order to define this thing there must be two media because it's relative optically denser medium is that where the speed of light is slower in comparison to other so optically rarer medium is that where the speed of light is more in comparison to other optically denser medium where the speed of light is less in comparison to other optically rarer medium where the speed of light is more in comparison to other let's take the example of air and water or glass the speed of light in air speed of light in air is 3 into 10 raised power 8 meter per second but the speed of light in glass is equal to 2 into 10 raised power 8 meter per second the speed of light is less in glass in comparison to air here we can say that air is optically rarer medium in comparison to glass so glass is optically denser medium so here the speed of light in air is more in comparison to glass so here we can say air is optically rarer medium because the speed of light is more and the glass is optically denser medium because the speed of light in glass is less in comparison to what uh, in comparison to air now speed of light in water the speed of light in water is 2.5 into 10 raised power 8 meter per second now which is rarer and which is denser the water the medium water is rarer medium in comparison to glass but if we compare these two, the air is rarer in, compa in, in comparison to water. See, speed of light in air is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. While speed of light in water is, if we compare these two, these two, speed of light in water is 2.5 into 10 raised to power uh, 8 meter per second. So here, air is rarer and water is denser. But among, uh, between these two, between these two, which is rarer and which is denser? Water is rarer and glass is denser. Fine? Because the speed of light in water is more in comparison to glass. So, optically rarer medium is that medium where the speed of light is more in comparison to other. And optically denser medium is that where the speed of light is less in comparison to other. So, the light has different speed and uh, in different media on the basis of which we have two types of media optically denser medium and optically rarer medium the, the, now we would see the direction of bending which would depend upon the medium which would depend upon the speed of light in a particular medium and we will discuss that inshallah in next lecture